Welcome back guys, this is Art and Culture Monday on KUTV and my good name is Karen Blessing and if you're just joining us, you're an hour late. Next Monday, try harder but Karibu is still because we are having conversations and our first guest is already here so you are just right on time to enjoy amazing music from our Pocomo Princess and I want to know because she has been here before so I want you to say hi uh, Raquel and tell us how, why you moved from Binti Raquel to Pocomo Princess. Hello. Um, actually, um, as you are doing music and you're growing, yes, you come to realize that some things they fit you more than the original name is Rachel. So yes. I just changed it to Raquel. So it didn't make any sense. Mm -hmm. And uh, since uh, <laughs> in my hometown, okay, it's people are trying to grow and become more artists, but yes. the ladies they are kind of a uh, big a bit shy yeah so among them so i'm like i'm um, trying to show them they can they can do it yeah, yeah they ah. can do this so i came up with the song uh, yes. the, with the name although i was using it before on my instagram yeah yeah amazing so i i feel like with that explanation the pokombo princess fits better yeah. you know with growth and with what you represent what you are all about i feel like that one fits better so from now on guys this is pokombo princess right here she was here and she is doing amazing amazing music i just want us to do a quick recap for those of you who are new viewers for those of you who forget easily <laughs> for those of you who you know enjoy entertainment so we do not mind that she is here for a second time i just want you to tell us when you started doing music and how many songs do you have out so far oh <laughs> yes okay um my first song on my youtube channel is um in 2017 mm -hmm. yeah but i started doing music way back and um so far i have um Maybe like six or yeah. seven on my YouTube channel. Yeah. But I have more songs which are in audio form. Yes, but yeah. you are going to be doing videos <laughs> much later. That, that yeah. is how you know a good artist. They always have something cooking. They always have like, come from and boy, by the way, Raquel, we are giving you a free shoot. You know you have something <laughs> in mind to actually give to your audience. So you have six, uh, seven songs. How has been the transition among them since 2017, since you released your first song? How can you, how has your journey been? How, what has improved in the years that right now we are in 2021? What has improved over time in all your songs? Oh. The style, yeah, yeah. You started everything. with what style and what, st what okay. style are you at right now? <laughs> okay, um, me, I can do all styles, yes. but also I try to see what people really, what the fans, yes, what impressed them more, and also I try to be more in the music. You know, the uh, music goes well with dancing, yes. so yeah. Uh, so you try to uh, look at what is trending currently, what are people enjoying currently, yeah. so that you can, you from that, so could you say that you draw your inspiration from what is happening around you? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Mostly. Yes, because I feel like <laughs> yeah, music changes now and then 2017 to 2021. That's about four years now. Yeah, that in four years, a lot, a lot can change in four years. Yeah. Are you working with a management? I'm a uko solo. You know, not solo yet. Right? Yes. Yeah, not <laughs> so yet. Uko, uko kiviako, yeah, you are I'm doing this solo. alone. But I have people who are supporting me. Mm -hmm. yeah. I, I, are these people like helping you in terms of production, yeah. directing, you know, video uh, shooting and everything? And who are they? We would like to hear. Ah, okay. <laughs> okay, I have like my producer. Yeah. So sometimes he supports me in this uh, part of um, production. Yeah. And uh, mostly, yeah, mostly my producer. And this time I had a backup dancers, so yes. they were also a great support to me. Yeah. Yes, on the new song, uh, Rule, you had backup dancers. Was yeah. that the first time you had backup dancers in your songs? Yeah. How was that experience? It's, it was amazing because at least um, you have a kind of a group that you do uh, exercise together, so yeah. it's it's amazing and yeah. Yeah, I, I feel like we are jumping ahead <laughs> into the song rule <laughs> because I am pretty excited. But before we get there, are any are you are you planning any collabs? And yeah. with whom? Um first I think I'm gonna do collabs with uh, people on the ground. Yeah. Yeah. So how to hashtag you could be anything nani because it's cooking, but let then ask you this. Uh given a chance, who would you want to collab with in this country? You know, mm. given a chance, who would it be? 
Right now, there are so many. Uh -huh. Mention them, please, <laughs> by all means. <laughs> it doesn't have to be one of them. You can do three, four. Yeah, mm -hmm. they're okay. Uh, female artists, I'll al always say Sanaipei. Mm -hmm. Then there's uh, male artists like um, Otile Brown, yes. you know. Yeah. So those, so those are your, your target. Yeah, you my target right now. This is where I am <laughs> going. <laughs> ah, yeah. Yeah. So, so I want us to talk about your song, Rule. What is the rule about? Okay, rule, um, it wasn't easy to write rule, but uh, rule is, um, I don't want Mel to feel so bad about it, mm -hmm. but I wrote it spe specifically for women. Mm -hmm. uh, so um, encouraging each other, because we know we can rule, of course. Exactly. If we really want to do something, we can do it. So it's mostly for women, young <laughs> ladies, yeah. yeah. Exactly. Single given, mothers given your Pokombo princess background, I think you needed that type of a song, you know, to encourage women yeah. from all the way back at home that, yes, we can rule, and yes, we can do this. How long did it take you to write rule? Oh, okay. It took me like mm, two weeks. Mm -hmm. And uh, it took me almost a month to practice the dance, so it was <laughs> it was quite uh, a hassle. Yeah. Yes, mm -hmm. I, I felt like why uh, why did you feel like you needed backup dancers in this one? Okay, <laughs> because I wanted to introduce something new mm -hmm. in my music, and I thought uh, to go more new i should use also dances because i know music goes well with dancing yeah. and i think my style of songs goes best with dancing too. Well, you, you, the, yeah. the beat is upbeat so you can you can, it goes well with dancing mm. have you done gospel music before <laughs> yeah yeah it so was only it? a christmas song yes only <laughs> <laughs> but i have a new audio song a gospel song but yes. it's still on in audio form yes so and i don't want to confuse my fans yes too so, uh, so what are you <laughs> doing exactly? Where are you at? What genre are you at right now? Um, in the media. Yes. So yeah, entertainment. You are out here to entertain. One gospel, like yangu kia hapa na pale. It's all right. Yeah. What <laughs> touches me in my heart? Yes. Amazing. I think I, I like that. I like that form that you move with the wave. Wherever the wave takes you, that is where you <laughs> will get us the song. I want us to listen to Rule. Uh, but before we do that, what is the message that you have already told us the message before I ask that again, that you want women to know that they can actually uh, rule. Who are your producers, your specific producers for this song? Uh, audio, video, and please give them a shout out before we go on. Okay, I give shout out to Marvin. Mm. Um, he's the one um, he did the video and also Sango to my audio pro producer. And also the dancers, thanks for the support. Yes, yeah. amazing. I was watching your, your songs, of course, because I had to be ready for this interview. And I bumped into a, a cooking video. Yeah. Do you cook? Can we? Can we? In, <laughs> can you invite us? Actually, a number of them. Can you invite us for a meal? Do you cook? Is it a passion of yours? Yeah, it's a passion. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Um, what type of foods are you interested in? Well, you know, unapikanga, unapena kupika nini? Everything. Yeah. I like trying s things new. So, yeah. Everything. Yeah. yeah. So apart from music, the uniqueness of your YouTube channel is that we do not just get our music content. We also get to learn how to cook. How to cook. Things. Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. Amazing. I cannot wait. I'm going to enjoy that. I'm going to follow one of the recipes. Yeah. I in fact, it. the last recipe is the best because it's um, maybe unkept food. Yes. Yeah. It's good. Yeah, it's uh, amazing. So you enjoy rice, yeah. good music and good food. Mm -hmm. <laughs> amazing. Healthy. That is what, guys, that is what you get from the Pokomo Princess, guys. Uh, uh, kindly give us your social media handles before we get into the song. You can get me in with one name, Pokomo Princess, on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook. Yeah. <laughs> yes. So Kila Mahali is Pokomo, Pokomo Princess. Princess yeah. um, do you feel like the transition, you know, from uh, Facebook kukua one name, Instagram kukua some other name, do you feel like that one maintaining one name has helped, you know, bring your audience to you specifically? Yeah, because it won't confuse them. They'll know it's the same person. Exactly. So yeah. if you if you see Pokomo Princess, wanaju anywhere. Yeah. Yes, before we get into future plans, how are you recovering from COVID-19? And what, how would you advise artists to, uh, you know, we are all trying to get back to our feet uh, after COVID-19? Yeah. Mm. yeah, we are trying to recovering and mostly we rely on um, live shows. 
which right now is so difficult. Yeah. But people are trying, you know. I had um, my l- I launched my song yeah. a few weeks ago, and it was okay. But you have to take more precautions. Also, although just like you spoken, it's better to be on online digital. Yeah. Yes. But not everyone is on the online digital form. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, so you'd advise them for more. So most it's people still um it's still we are still trying. It's yeah. not it's still not it is for us. Yeah. Yes. Amazing. Mm-hmm. We're going to of course all of us are trying this new online thing, even some of us who are not yet there. But I think it's a good it's a good way to start to yeah. recover. Yeah. Uh future plans for Pokomo Princess. What are you planning after this after this of course this song that we have just launched? What are your future plans? Okay, starting like uh, from now, maybe to August, not yeah. maybe, to August. On August, I will have another show. But now I'm trying to see, w- am I going to do it on the digital format yeah. or on a live show? Because it will re- depend with the situation of that the COVID. Oh, of yeah. COVID uh, situation yeah. in the country mm-hmm. by then. I and I have a new song on the way, uh-huh. a video song, probably in two weeks. Yes. It will be on my YouTube channel. Yes. <laughs> Again, guys, uh, follow her, Pokomo Princess Kila Mahali. You'll get to know what's cooking, what, uh, what has been served, and everything that she is all about and what she is engaging in and doing. So the handles are Pokomo Princess Kila Mahali. Right about now, though, we want to drop her new jam rule. So stressing. Oh uh-huh. 